Hi guys, welcome to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to do a pair of quickie reviews. Um, one, because one of these two bourbons, I've reviewed other batches of it recently, and this is just the latest one that I got, so I wanted to do a kind of a quick review on it and see how it tastes. And the other is going to be a quick review because that one is so limited and so hard to get that most of you aren't going to be able to find it unless you're in Louisville, Kentucky. And um, so we'll just do a little quickie on it. So the first one we're going to do is my latest batch of Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. This one is 57.7% alcohol. And I haven't tried it yet. So I figured because of the gold label, we'll use the gold blend. The Savant glass, if you will. Oh my gosh. I love Smoke Wagon. Now, <clears throat> I know that Smoke Wagon is MGP juice. I understand that. But why does it taste so different? I mean, the majority of its life it's been in Kentucky. And then it goes to Vegas for a very brief period of time before it's bottled. Now, I've watched his videos on Instagram. I know that those bottles don't hang around in Vegas that long. Why does it taste so different than other MGP distillates, other products from MGP? <sighs> Man, this is a spicy cinnamon bread. Like cinnamon bread and jalapenos. It's sweet. It's... The rye is very noticeable. There's some dark fruit happening, but I can't put my finger on it if it's blueberry or... or blackberry. It's if there's a definite fruitiness or berry note there. <laughs> oh, some whiskeys are just like wiggle whiskeys. They just make you kind of feel it. They just make you, mm, they make you vibe. Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered is a vibe wiggle whiskey for me. I get dates and um, <clears throat> the rye really shows up on the finish. On the palate, I get a lot of dates. Like that's the majority of what I'm getting. It's that dark, sweetie richness of like a, of a nice date. It's spicy for sure. I'm getting a creaminess now, like a vanilla cream. Right in the mid palette, there's like a, a wave of vanilla cream. Oh yeah. Getting a, a hint of coffee. It just keeps changing. It just keeps it. That's the thing that I love about Uncut Unfiltered. It's like every sip is a new experience. You know, like right now the rye is, is really kicking up in the back of my throat and in my mouth. I can feel it like right behind my teeth. I feel the rye. And it's mouthwateringly good. Mm. The vanilla cream note is, is turning slightly cherry, like vanilla and cherry cream. Oh, every sip of Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered is an adventure. That's why it's one of my favorites. Oh, man. The rye note on the nose is, is really turning into a, almost a rye bread. Mm. Son of a gun. Ooh. That's good. So that's my latest batch of Uncut Unfiltered. So cute. The next whiskey we're going to try right now is called Old Haymarket. 
It is a Kentucky straight bourbon. It's a single barrel. It's a four-year-old product. It uh, It's a little not clear on where this whiskey's coming from, but it's made for the old Haymarket Bar in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I guess the bar is right across the street from where there used to be uh, a very old market. And in that market, talking 100 years ago or more, people sold a lot of whiskey. And so when they opened Old Haymarket Bar, it was to honor that old market that used to exist. And and the, the whiskey, the bourbon entrepreneurs who blended and sourced and sold whiskey in that market. And this is a cast strength whiskey. It's 114 proof, 57% alcohol, four years old, like I said. And this I've had a couple sips out of. I've tried this one a couple times. It is shockingly good. It's just, ooh, look out. It is flavor packed. Mmm. Mm. following this, or coming to this after uncut, unfiltered, puts a whole new funk on this. Woo! I'm getting peanut, leather, chocolate, caramel. Of course, that rye is there. Of course, the corn is there. A cherry. Vanilla, of course. Caramel. It's like... And there's a fruitiness, too. It's almost like the smell of a fruit salad. Um, or one of those... What are they called? The Christmas fruit... The loaf, the log, the... I can't think of what they're called. The little Christmas thing with the bread with all the fruit in it. They're disgusting, but they smell good. That's what this smells like. It's just all of these really nice confectionery, sweet notes, just all together. Oh. The rye is the backdrop of everything, the backbone of all the flavors. It just cuts right through the middle of the, your tasting experience. And then you have all of those other notes just hanging on there and and going with it wow that's a roller coaster ride it's not a wiggle whiskey it's not throwing you around as much as is the smoke wagon is but it's just oh, such a good tasting experience if you're ever in Louisville go buy old Haymarket ask for a pour maybe buy a bottle if you can this stuff is phenomenal for a four-year-old bourbon phenomenal i need to do a, a a blind flight of nothing but four-year-old bourbons and and see how this does uh, i did a, a blind flight with this once before i had a bottle i was sent a sample for a blind flight and this won that blind flight handily so it's just there's just so much going on so much complexity that it, it's really really phenomenal if you're ever in Louisville, go grab one Anyway, that was two quick quick reviews. Super fun. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. In the description will be a link to my Patreon. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. You should go check it out. It's fun. And um, like, comment, subscribe. If you've had Old Haymarket, tell me about it in the comments. If you have a favorite batch of Uncut Unfiltered, tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to read your comments and respond to them. Till next time, have a great day.